hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i've just kind of had a little bit of a play with some makeup i was feeling really really bored this morning and just wanted to do something a bit fun and a little bit brighter than normal so i've gone for this kind of turquoisey green makeup look so if you guys want to see how i created this makeup look and just see me play with some makeup that i've not used in ages please keep watching so to begin with, I'm just going to take my spoolie and brush up my brows just so they are out of the way with my P. Louise base as usual. I might use this brush actually, this is the Morphe MB23 brush, just like a blending brush but I like to use it as a concealer brush. I'm going to blend that primer all the way up to the brows and then also just going to blend this on your inner corner the front of your brow and also just really really softly drag this down towards your cheekbone so today's look is going to be really really soft so i just want everything to be super blended really soft really pretty looking then just to make sure that that is all nice and blended and patted out, I'm actually just going to take my sponge. This is a Real Technique sponge. Actually pat this over the eye. So to begin for the eyeshadow look, I'm going to go in to my NYX Bright palette. And I'm going to take this shade here on the end. I'm just taking a really, really fluffy blending brush. This is from Morphe, I believe it is the Morphe R45 brush. Blend this colour through the crease. And then I'm just going to pack that shade all over the lid as well. And then we're going to go back in just to make sure that's all blended later on. I'm just going to do the same. Take my Zoeva Look Soft Crease Brush. I'm just going to really, really softly blend out that shade. I'm going to take a little bit more using the Zoeva brush. I'm just going to build up the shade through the crease. we've got that shade on i'm gonna go in with the mua spring break palette the shade seafoam from that palette and i'm just gonna pop this all over the lid it's a really really light kind of greeny blue shimmer this is like really experimental as well because I've, I've never really used all of these shadows together i've never done a look this color either so if this doesn't work out this video will not be going up but if it does Obviously you guys will be seeing it. So right here I have this absolutely giant Makeup Revolution colour spectrum palette. I got this for Christmas and some of these shimmer shadows in this are stunning. I use it quite a lot on my own makeup. I'm going to go in with one of the kind of greeny blue shades and I'm just going to deepen up my crease a little bit. And I'm just going to take that on my Zoeva Lux crease brush. I don't even know if I'm using the right shade. There's so many colours in this palette. That is all nice and softly blended out. I'm just going to add some more of the shade from the NYX palette. Just to try and build up that colour. I'm going to go in with one of the NYX Prismatic Eyeshadows. And this is in the shade... It's called Mermaid. These NYX Prismatic shades are gorgeous. They are so, so pretty. I wonder if you'll be able to see it better on my hand. So this is the shade here. Oh my God, how pale is my hand there? I did try and put it on my hand, but you couldn't really see it very well. <laughs> um, so you can see there, just a really pretty pale kind of green colour. 
so just using my finger i'm just gonna pop this on the lid just over where i put that other shade the one from the mua palette this is just gonna add some shimmer Makeup is definitely a process, so I know a lot of people will be watching this right now and being like, no, this is not gonna, this isn't gonna work. I promise it will. You just need to keep going. Trust the process, trust your skill, trust what you're doing, and just keep going. So just to kind of add a little bit more glitter into this, because why the hell not, I'm gonna take the Illamasqua Pure Pigment in Static, and it is more of like a purpley kind of reflect i'm just gonna pop this on the kind of middle part of my eyelid and create a little bit of a halo i don't usually wear halo eyes either just because they don't really suit me so i'm just taking some of the nyx eyeshadow primer on a pc to one brush and using the same brush that i used to put the primer i'm just gonna flip it over to the side that doesn't have any primer on i'm gonna pick up a little bit of that pigment and just pop that on so I'm just popping this pigment just right in the center of my eyelid just because I feel like we just need some more glitter and even though this is more of a purple reflect I think it's kind of it looks quite cute in its own way. I'm just going to take the Bad Girl Bang Mascara from Benefit. I'm just going to prime under my eyes, just using the P. Louise base, just going to take a little bit. I'm going to add some of the same shade under my eyes just to bring it all up together. And then just to make sure that's all blended out, I'm just going to take my sponge and just tap over that. Then I'm going to take the same shade from the NYX Colourful palette and I'm going to go in with a Zoeva Look Smoky Shade brush. I wish I had like a coloured mascara because I think like a blue mascara with this would look so cool. I'm just going to take just one of the blending brushes and just make sure that's all blended in nicely. I'm then going to go in with some of that little mask of pigment and I'm just going to pop this on the lower lash line. So sorry, Ollie's just kicking off just because we're getting a food delivery, but my camera is going to run out of battery, so I'm just going to have to keep going. I'm just taking a coal liner. This is one from Barrier. So I've just popped on some primer. It was the Elf Hydrating Face Primer. Fill in some of those lovely gigantic pores I've got at the moment. And I'm going to take the... L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation and to use this I'm just going to take a buffing brush from Real Techniques. That's quite pale but we'll work with it. Oh, foundation smells really weird. I have used this foundation before but I couldn't remember what shade I'd used. Is that too pale or is my face just really red? No, it's fine. My face is just really red right now. It's so hot in here. And hopefully this is just going to neutralise all that red in my face right now. This foundation is so nice and cold, oh my god.
I'm just gonna pat over the foundation with a damp blender. This is just the Real Techniques one. And I've just sprayed some Mario Badescu facial spray on it. Just so I'm just gonna add a little bit of concealer next. I'm just taking the Makeup Revolution one in the shade C4. This is the Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. Yeah, this is the Morphe M428 brush. I think I've used this in every video that I've done. But it's my favorite concealer brush. Back in with my sponge and just make sure that it's all patted out, all blended out nicely. I'm just going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. She's this one. This is, I think this is an Eco Tools brush. So to bronze, I'm just taking the MAC Sculpt Powder. I'm going to bronze quite a lot today because I think I need it today. I'm going to go on to my temple. Like so. I just zoomed out so you can see, see my forehead now. I'm just going to take a little bit on to my forehead as well just to add a little bit more colour. I think this lighting just makes me look so pale like I'm looking in my mirror and I, I look normal but right here I look like a ghost. I'm going to do the same on the other side. here for blush from MAC. I really can't remember what the name of it is but it's a really really pretty like soft kind of mauve shade. And I'm going to add quite a lot because I want like a really flushed look. Just applying this with a duo fiber brush. So I've applied quite a lot of blush and just to tone it down I'm just going to go back in with my powder brush and just press over and you're just going to lose some of that pigment. For highlight today I'm going to be using a highlighter that I've actually never used before. It is the Ofra Cloud 9 highlight. It is such a gorgeous colour. It is one of the Nikki Tutorials um, collab ones. Really really pretty like lilac -y reflect. I just think it's going to go well with the eyeshadow so we're going to try it anyway and see what happens. I feel like this is a testing video of me trying all things that I've never used before so. Ooh. Oh I'm just going to put this everywhere. This is stunning. Take that highlighter and I'm just going to pop a little bit under my brow bone. A little bit on the inner corner as well. So as usual I'm just going to brush through my brows. Then just taking the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit, my favourite brow product. I'm just going to pop this through the brows. For lips I'm using the Barium Toast Lip Liner and I'm just going to fill in all of my lips with this liner. And then I'm going to go in with the Soap and Glory Sugar Plum Lip Gloss if I can open it, oh my god. My hands are so slippy. This is just like a clear with some shimmer in. I'm just going to go and apply some really big fluttery lashes off camera. And then I will be back to show you guys the finished look. And this is the finished look. I have just applied my lashes. I've used the Molly Cosmetics MCH lashes. They are so nice, they're really really nice and fluttery and really big and they don't look too much on my extremely hooded eyes as well which is always a bonus. So yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I just thought I'd do something a bit more fun and colourful and bright just to brighten up the day a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video.